coming to down to 14, uh, 20 to, to 6 at halftime. What are the adjustments you made to get you back in the game for the second half? Um, I won't get schematically. Uh, there was a few adjustments, obviously, we had to make on defense. Or we're just giving up too many things, uh, especially on third down. Um, but at the end of the day, it was just missed opportunities all over the place on, on, in the first half that we felt like if we could just play a little bit more efficient, we'll start moving the ball, we'll get our stops, and, and we can make it a game. We just we couldn't score in the red zone. Did Robert, yeah, when one for six in the red zone, is that pretty much the story of the game? Yeah, it's, uh, uh, they were three for three. We were one of six. We were one of three in goal-to-goal -goal situations. Um, can't win the game just kicking field goals. Was, was there anything recurring there that you think was an issue, or did you just not finish? No, they the time? I mean, give them credit. You know, they they stood up. I uh, had an opportunity with Braxton on one of them. Um, uh, just give them credit. Yeah, give them credit. We had a penalty on, on one goal. Uh, goal is a, a bad penalty that the, uh, knocked us out of it, which led to a field goal too. And I think it was the first drive of the uh, second half. So there's just a lot of. Uh, uh, things by them and things that we could have done better also. What did you think of Mike today? Um, I thought Mike did a great job. He was, uh, you know, he, there was a little bit of uh, some ups and downs like you like you normally would in a, in a football game. They're, they're a good football team. Um, but uh, I thought he kept his composure, stayed within the game. He made some big, big throws. Uh, and, um, you know, that last interception, he had to he had to go there with, uh, with the lack of time remaining. And uh, credit to them, they, they played it aggressively and made the play. I think he had 57 passes, Robert, and a sack, so 58 dropbacks. Is that, you know, is that, could that get skewed? You never, you, you never want to have that. Obviously, yeah. we're, uh, we're playing catch up, especially in the last two drives. I think we had about 20, it felt like 20 passes there. But uh, uh, either way, it's, um, you know, I felt like the run game was, was good in spurts. We couldn't punch it in when we tried to, but uh, you never want to throw that much. But at the same time, sometimes it's, that's what it calls for. Well, Sam, I just talk about his performance. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, we, we love the way he runs. Uh, he's north and south. He's got a burst to him. He's got a little extra juice and fresh legs. I think he showed it today. He had that big run today. Uh, he runs violently, and um, uh, he's really doing a nice job. Yeah, Garrett made some huge plays for you there in the second half, especially. So, yeah. You know, how, how impressive is, is he? He's, he's impressive. I, I, I think, I don't think it's a secret uh, with him. He's, uh, he's dynamic. He's special. Wish he could have kept his feet in bounds on that one explosive, but man, is yeah. he, he's a uh, amazing. That was amazing that he even got to that point uh, with the way he, he broke tackles. So, when you can you from your vantage point on the throw to Braxton in the end zone on the, on the fourth down play, could you because it looked like for a second he had it there? I'm wondering what kind of emotions are going through. Um, you never, but you, for me, I'm you're just trying to get through the down. You know, obviously, Mike's probably going to wish he put it a little bit more in front of him, but. Uh, I know Brax is going to know that he should have. He, he wishes he would have kept it down. Credit by their guy got disrupted just enough uh, with him on his back, and um, you know those are the plays of game of inches when you're playing a, a a nine and two team. They've been winning like this all year, and you know we uh, we didn't make the play that we needed to, to make. How frustrating were there were a lot of penalties, especially too late in the first half. Um, you had the George Fant one later in the game. How, how frustrating is it for those to be the things that... Uh, it was frustrating the in the first half. Um, you know, some deserve, some not. It's always going to be that way. But, uh, you know I, know, I think we settled it down in the second half and just uh, played a little bit faster. But um, Why'd you bring Fanton for Mitchell? I uh, felt like he was struggling a little bit. And uh, so just, uh, just try to get George out there. Robin, you talked about uh, changing the defense in the second half. What did you see in the second half? Um, we... We just want to take away a little bit more. There, there's, we felt like there was a little bit of space in there. Obviously, there's, uh, um, and again, credit to them, credit to Kurt. That's why he's a good quarterback. He was finding that space. Uh, they were doing a good job in protection at point at times, and we just felt like if we could just take that space away and amp, amp, amp up in, in the uh, pass rush, we'd we'd be able to get off the field. And uh, thought the guys did a great job executing that in the second half. How do you feel like you guys? Way might compete in the second. Half. Um, the, the whole team, um, you know, I'm, I'm proud to be this team's coach. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of every single person in that locker room. They, they absolutely fought their tails off. This team doesn't quit. Um, there's no moral victories or anything like that. But uh, if we play like that, I know we're going to win more often than not. Take a couple more. How did you feel you guys did against Jefferson? Uh, I thought we did a nice job. I, I know he got the one touchdown. 
really nice route by him. Uh, but uh, felt like we kept his explosives to a minimum. Um, but uh, you know, we just we just weren't good enough in the red zone today. That's on both sides of the ball. Uh, any injuries, Robert? Uh, everyone finished again. Okay.